I think we're just getting started. Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth assembly tutorial for modding Halo Reach on the PC. In this episode we're going to be looking at the shotgun and what we can do to increase the accuracy and yet keep it balanced. We're also going to be looking at the reticle change that's required after this in order to ensure that our reticle is accurate of where the projectile is going. So if you will, go ahead and open up assembly. I have opened up the tags where you, uh, of which you need to open here under CHUD definition or CHGT and projectile or PROG. Both of these you will need. You will not need shotgun weapons. I just have that open uh, for my ease. So if you'll remember my last episode, I talked about reticles uh, and I mentioned them, but I didn't actually go over them. So we're going to be go going over reticles a little bit, but we're also going to be overhauling the shotgun. So I want you to go to two projectiles and I want you to find this right here. That's the first thing that we're going to need, uh, where I'm going to need you to go. So, if you will remember in the weapons tutorial, I mentioned that when you modify the weapon, you're actually not modifying anything to do with the projectile. Um, now, there are certain things that can affect the behavior and how that projectile is shot from that actual uh, tag, but you're not actually changing the ballistics. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So, once you have gone down to projectile, I need you to find maximum range. Now, if you'll know, if you played Halo Reach, which I'm assuming you have if you're here, then you know that the range with shotgun is absolutely terrible. It's work. I mean, it's bad. It, it, it. I'm like, if there are words to describe such an atrocity, we could say. Uh, or Ubisoft, like, but yeah. Uh, anyways, let's change maximum range to 15. And we're also going to need to change initial velocity and final velocity to 800. So the maximum range is how far away can I shoot something and it take damage. Initial velocity is the speed. How long does it take for that projectile to get to its destination? Very basic. Onward we go you then need to find shotgun properties. And if you look here, you have four values that you can modify. You have amount, distance, accuracy, and spread cone angle. Amount is the, um, is, think of these as multipliers, all of these. And also think that all of these are in an equation together where amount times distance times accuracy times spread cone angle equals the shotgun properties or shotgun projectile properties. So if you will, because I, I'm trying, for this overhaul, I'm trying to make a shotgun that basically shoots a slug round. I want to make a, make a round that it is a single object that comes out of a shotgun. It's highly accurate. It has a good range for a shotgun. Uh, there's no spread because there's one object or there's a reduced spread. There's a reduced vari variability in terms of wherever the projectile can go. And... We need this to be accurate. So we're going to make that happen by actually modifying the amount down to one. And distance and accuracy are very similar. In fact, they're almost interchangeable. But if I lower this and I increase this and I keep everything linear, then I'm not making any progress at all, really. In fact, I'm just wasting time. So let's increase our accuracy to eight and or our distance to 8, and our accuracy to 2.5. And we're going to leave spread cone angle, because spread cone angle is the variability on a single plane for the spread of a shotgun. So you can see that I'm only shooting one pellet. Now it may appear but I'm shooting multiples, but I'm only shooting one round. And that round is enough to blow up these projectiles. Now, I want to demonstrate that is true. So I'm going to increase this to 10. So you can see that multiple rounds subsequently increases the damage 
that we are doing because we have multiple multiple projectiles. Now these projectiles have basically a damaged reporting system and let's say that one pellet or one projectile is worth uh, 15 damage. So if you shoot five pellets then you're doing a total of 15 times 5 to get the total sum of damage and I just picked that number uh, arbitrarily, there's no significance there, to get the total damage. So by we're going to keep the shotgun balanced. Keep in mind, we're increasing its accuracy by a good bit, and we're also increasing the range and the velocity. We're going to keep the, stand, uh, the shotgun uh, balanced by reducing the total amount of damage that is done, especially the farther away you are. So that is way too overpowered. And you'll also note in your time in assembly that some variables do not like to be uh, dec or decimal numbers, and that's for a reason. I can't explain that reason for everything, um, but like let's say I've changed it to 10.5. Well, you can't have 10 and a half projectiles. You either have a projectile or you don't. It's either a yes or a no. So go ahead and change that back to one. Once that change is made, go ahead and find the shotgun tag under C HUD or C HUD definition. So once you've made your way to this section, I'm about 38-40% on my scroll bar, you're looking for crosshairs. And for a shotgun, there's crosshair B, B2, and crosshair A. And every crosshair is a little bit different. And in some cases, you actually have to open up multiple uh, tags in order to change the actual crosshair. And for example, the assault rifle has... Uh, four or five entries that you have to actually open up and modify in order to adjust it. So keep in mind that everything is a little bit different. A shotgun, in my opinion, is actually one of the most simple that you can modify. So if you're following along with this tutorial in-game and in assembly, then you will get to know that you've modified one of the easiest radicals. So you have your mirror offset X and Y, your scale X and Y, and these are not the same. So that means and this as well. So basically one side of our shotgun uh, reticle is perhaps a little bit wider or a little bit longer depending if it's length or width because it's not a perfect circle otherwise we'd have 1 1 and 0.9 and 0.9 or 1 1 1 1. So we have a tighter spread. We have a more accurate spread for our shotgun and we want to make a reticle that is represented, representative of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 0.55 and I'm going to change this to 0.5 and actually I'll change this to 0.6 and let's see what happens. Okay, so I, I have a pretty cool design come, of that, come out of that but it's not really what I'm looking for. So let's change our skill to be a little bit different. It's still not there. So scale, as you'll notice, does not really change with how these two are actually located together. So what if I change that to 0.4? Okay, so my X's got skinnier. If I change that to 2, my my X will get uh, farther apart. So if the number is closer to 0, that means that the left side and the right side of the reticle will get closer. If a number is closer to zero for y, that means that the top part and the bottom part of a reticle will get closer. I will illustrate this right now. As you can see, they're actually, they've kind of swapped sides. So let's find a value that works for what we want it to do. So let's do 0.9 and then let's do 1. 0.25. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's not bad. Now, if you look closely, you can see that the bottom part of a reticle and the top part of a reticle are slightly touching. So let's see if we can change that by adjusting one or two things in the scale. That didn't do anything. So maybe this will. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so it got wider. And we don't want it to get wider. In fact, I want it to get skinnier. So we'll leave that at 1. And we'll leave that at 1.5 because I do want it to be taller. Okay, so we're starting to get there. 
if I change my offset for Y to be a little bit more, and I change my offset for Y, so X and Y, I'm going to make them a little bit longer, then I should have the desired effect. So this is a different spread, and in fact, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. on one axis and scan around over. But you can see that I have a completely different reticle from what comes stock. And you can change this however you want. But I basically, I want the user to be aware that there is reduced recoil for this weapon when they pick it up. And so I can make that change happen by alerting them through using the reticle. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to bring in uh, some uh, an in-depth look at the reticle, and I hope I've achieved the basic parts of that. Um, and I've also wanted to show you some of the projectile stuff, because I also felt that if I covered with the weapon stuff, but I didn't cover with the projectile stuff, then I was uh, letting you guys down, because you only have one part of the equation. Uh, there's so much more to modifying a weapon if you uh, don't touch if you don't even touch for projectile, then you're missing out on a lot of stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm hoping to come out with a mod review on some of the recent mods that are being uploaded to the Nexus. Uh, and that'll probably be coming out uh, pretty soon. If I've uploaded it already, or when I upload it, I will put a link in this video. So you can go ahead and click on that. If you have any questions, if you have any problems with assembly, I'm happy to help you out. Let me know what you need in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching.